The last thing that I want to talk about before we wrap up the intro videos is how modules end. So aside from module one, because that's just our getting started, this is how the course navigates module. Um, what will happen in every module is you'll have a series of lessons. Some will have three lessons, some will have six lessons. It just depends on the module. Every lesson will have the learning outcomes, a lecture, a skills practice, and a knowledge test, and a due date. And you'll just repeat that. So lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four, lesson five. At the end of every module, there's a finishing up section, and depending on the module, there are more or less activities to be done. Every module, starting with module two, has a module exam. Uh, it has a 75 minute time limit, and you must answer questions about Photoshop, but you also have to perform Photoshop activities. So do not start the module exam unless you have 75 minutes of uninterrupted time to be able to do that. And you have access to Photoshop. So have Photoshop open before you start the test because at the very end of every exam, there's a handful of questions where you have to do something and submit a file. If we jump down to let's say module six, which has the most finishing up activities, you'll see that you'll have more than just an exam. Starting with module three, you'll have at least one creative project, if not two. So module six has two creative projects at the end. And then you always have your exam, but module six also has this finishing up final prints activity. I don't expect you to memorize what's at the end of every module, but what I would like you to be aware of as you start the semester is that you should start planning your finishing up activities when you start the module, not when you finish it. So there are two projects due at the end of module six you should start those projects at the beginning. When you start lesson 19, you should also start those two projects so that you're working on them throughout the module. And at the end, all you have to do is submit them because you only have like two days to complete both projects if you don't start them until the end of the module. So please plan ahead and make sure that you're budgeting your time. Whenever you start a module, look at everything that's due within that module and start to budget your time so that you can get it done in whatever amount of time is budgeted for that module. Okay, so for the first week of the semester during the summer 2019 semester, it is very important that everyone get started right away. We have to complete all of module one, which is our intro module, plus everything in module two by the end of the second week of the semester. Due at the end of the first week of the semester, so by Saturday of week one, which is May 18th, you must complete all of the activities inside the getting started in our 1280 module. They should take maybe two to four hours um, if you're focusing the whole time to get through everything. And then you need to complete lesson one, color management, the lecture, the skills practice, and the knowledge test. And lesson two, file creation and document setup, the slideshow lecture, the skills practice, and the knowledge test. I don't know if it's going to come through. I think it's going to be a little bit blurry. But you'll see if you print this that every lesson will tell you how long the lecture is. So if you're watching the lecture, the color management lecture is 30 minutes and the file creation lecture is 60 minutes. You need to make sure that you're budgeting that time. If you wait until Saturday at noon to start, the likelihood of finishing all three of these required activities by Saturday is slim to none. Then during the second week of the semester, make sure you're reading the due dates. So lesson three, intro to Adobe Bridge, is due by May 22nd, which is Wednesday. But the camera raw and the workspace presets lecture are not due until Saturday the 25th. Please make sure you're reading all the due dates. You should expect to have something due every Wednesday and every Saturday throughout the semester. Then last but not least, if you have any questions at any time during the semester, you can always email me through the Canvas inbox and I will do my best to reply back as soon as possible with the goal being no more than 24 hours from the time that you send it, Monday through Friday. Uh, please don't send an email at 11 o'clock on Saturday and then get frustrated that I didn't give you the answer to your question before everything was due at midnight. Okay, uh, that wraps up my intro to Art1280 Photoshop software. Get started as soon as possible, but don't hesitate to ask a million questions if you have them. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have.